Hello, positive writers. Wait, no. Ha! Hello, positive readers. I mean, I'm sure some of y'all are positive writers too. Amen. Um, today I'm going to be revealing another cover uh, for another book by Veronica Roth. Oh my gosh! Ah! Yes. Uh, she has a book that's coming out in February next year. Pretty, pretty sure it's like February 23rd, uh, 2023. And this is actually a novella instead of like a full length novel. And it's based off the play called Antigone. And it's called Arch Conspirators. And this is the cover. I literally, like, I saw it today. I'm like, yo, like, she posted a really funny, like, thing on her story. It was really funny. But anyway, I'm super excited for this book. I'm so, like, I feel so spoiled as somebody who loves and stands for Veronica Roth and has for years and years and years. I feel so spoiled this year because I feel like she's come out with so much content. And I love it. <laughs> and, yeah, I have so much to look forward to. And anyway, this is the cover for the book. And I will be uh, reading the blurb because I thought the blurb was done really, really well. And I kind of want to, I want to flex on y'all because... I want her to flex on y'all, or whoever wrote this blurb, because it's a great blurb. Um, yeah. But yes, this is a sci-fi book, and again, it's based on the play called Antigon, and I've never actually seen the play myself, but who knows? This book might inspire us all to go read slash watch the play. But anyway, this is the blurb of the book, the summary, uh, that should get us all to read it, because it got me to, even though I'm already gonna, like, default read it, because I love everything that Veronica puts out. Um, uh, outside the last city on Earth. The planet is a wasteland. Without the Archive, where the genes of the dead are stored, humanity will end. Passing into the Archive should be cause for celebration, but Antigone's parents were murdered, leaving her father's throne vacant. As her militant uncle, Creon, rises to claim it, all Antigone feels is rage. When he welcomes her and her siblings into his mansion, Antigone sees it for what it really is, a gilded cage, where she is a captive as well as a guest. But her uncle will soon learn that no cage is unbreakable, and neither is he. Whoa! I read this earlier today. I was like, yep. Because again, I was going to read like the book, <laughs> but I do love to know like what the book is about, just because it just shows me like if I'm not in the mood for it right now, or if I like when I'm going to be in the mood for it, and all that type of stuff. And it helps me to recommend it to other people. And so, I mean, wow. <laughs> so I'm super excited for this. Hope you are too. Cover's really beautiful. I will have I have the cover artist on the screen. And I will actually go and find that person right now because uh, she posts the cover artists and designers and stuff and on her uh, page, which I'm very thankful for because I love cover designers and I just love them getting their credit because they are literally like 99% of why people buy books, okay? You can actually go read an excerpt from the book in the description. Cosmopolitan is the one who put it out and so go read that because it's great. Everything Veronica does. Um, and the art is from the extremely talented uh, Powell Art on Instagram. And again, I have their Instagram handles up here. Pretty sure his name is Pablo Hurtado de Mendoza. And so you're beautiful and you're talented. And then the actual person who designed the cover is, uh, her name is Katie Klum. And so God bless you. So talented, amazing, love covers. I hope you have enjoyed me revealing these covers over the course of like the past two months. I am so thankful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see y'all later with another video. What is your favorite Veronica Walk book if you have read any of her books? And if you haven't, get on that. If you want to join us, we're all doing this diversion we read along thing together. And when, which, in, during which we are reading the entire diversion series over the course of July and August 2022. And so if you want to join in, join it at any time. Don't feel pressured. It's supposed to be fun. Have fun. Join in with us and you can read the Veronica Roth books because once you start, you're not going to stop. 